Okay, so you saw what I got the other day. And here we are. You saw this morning's little trip to the shops. And I did lie. I said I wasn't going to go to any more. But I did. <laughs> I went to another one. Actually, another two. I came home, fed the tri tribe because I was starving because I was away for so long. And I went to one more where I picked up a book and two little things for myself. Okay, so still can't find any nice tops, so I'm dealing with this one at the moment. Why I don't like wearing this is one because we've got handles in our bus that stick out a little bit and I get caught, so I sort of get, yeah, knocked around. Anyway, I'm going to get started, I'm going to stop waffling. When I first went into that op shop, the lady met me before a few weeks ago when I was there and she said, hey, all our clothes are half price today. And as I said in the video, everything there is always $2 anyway, mostly $2 to $5, all their clothes. And so everything today was $2.50 and one dollar and a pair of kids stuff for 50 cents right that was awesome and so I'm gonna start there I think in the in the clothing section because I've got a lot of that to get through and I've got a lot of this to get through oh my God. okay let's go so the very one of, not one of the first things I picked up but I did pick it up later and I'm picking it up now check this out guys you see it you see it you see it you see that <laughs> I know nothing about it, but Wide World NBN of Wide World of Sports NBN of Australia. Now, my mate, hopefully the Aussie flipper, can tell me about this if it's worth anything. This is wool, and this is just the vinyl. The vinyl on this sleeve has little white spots, but actually coming off. So I'm going to try and get them all off. And if they don't all come off, I'll just put in the description. But look at it, look at it. It's an XL as well, so it's awesome size, and it cost me. I think it was either. A dollar, two dollars. I think it might have been two dollars fifty. I'm not sure, but yeah. So pretty cool. I'm very happy with that. I'm hoping to get. I don't know. I'm. I'm sort of thinking maybe you know I might be able to get up to eighty, a hundred dollars for. I don't know, but yeah, I'll probably be asking some questions about that one to the guys who know all about that sort of stuff. So okay, in no particular order, guys. In no particular order. This dress, brand new with tags. Pretty little bow. Not sort of boho-ish. Very feminine lovely festival dress one dollar one dollar it's not it's a brand it's, the labels upside down so it's probably just a cheap brand but it's young 617 and it's still got the um it's probably one of those chinese brands but anyway it's only a dollar so whatever i make from there is profit then i got as i said no specific order an autograph jacket one dollar it's one of those raincoat ones so a really good quality one size 18 as well nothing wrong with it at all beautiful condition one dollar then I picked up um, there was actually a couple of things I should have got they had some retro 80s dresses homemade ones and I thought you know what stop it I've already got enough to put them back and I'm sort of regretting I didn't grab them but I got so much of that stuff anyway I left it there for some other person to get excited about who's having a party 80s party okay I got a hell bunny dress now the last two hell bunny dresses I saw were in Port Macquarie they wanted eight dollars each for them this one cost me one dollar and hell bunny always sells this is only a medium size but some of the tiny little chicky will love that so yeah that was good Roman you're gonna love this you're gonna be you're gonna be wanting to race down to Grafton seriously on a Monday and, and get yourself some stuff <laughs> anyone who's in Grafton that's where it is it's at their make make and do crew or something like that it's on it's on South Grafton side okay right this is a Zara bodysuit and it was a dollar so it's a full body suit so it was a dollar from Zara good brand to pick up um, <laughs> this is ridiculous I picked up another new outfit it's a Luca I don't know what the Luca is but it's got a sort of really cool funky um, pattern to it which I love and it's a short set not as a jumpsuit short jumpsuit set so it was a dollar it's fully lined it's got spare button on it yeah for a dollar a dollar um, I'm leaning over Okay, this is a vintage, uh, vintage country road workwear jumper. Slight pilling on the front, which can be pulled off. I'll probably clean off before I sell it. Tiny little mark there, but yeah, otherwise than that, and I think that will wash off. So, being, I'd say it feels like it's pure wool. I think it's pure wool, but it's a vintage, um, vintage country road, which are worth getting. So, what does it say? Pure wool. Yeah, I can smell the pure wool on it. The pure wool, one dollar jumper. Okay, got one thing vintage. It's a Jackie K. 
Jackie Kay's 1980s vintage suit. There is a skirt that goes with that that has been somewhere hiding. I think it's in this big black bag that she packed for me. So I've got that Jackie Kay suit for a dollar. Okay. Right. I've got this to go. Yeah. Oh, I got that big thing full of stuff. Okay. I picked up a mongoose. Mongoose is a bike brand. I've picked it up. I don't know whether my 10 year old grandson will wear them. He hasn't got a motorbike. But they're only 50 cents, so whatever I make on those will be awesome. <laughs> then I got Assassin Bide. Assassin Bide shirt. Shirt. Assassin Bide's always good to get. Mind you, I had some jeans that never sold, so yeah, Assassin Bide anyway, it was only a dollar, so whatever happens, it happens. I got these jeans because I love funky jeans. Like I'm a je I wear jeans all through winter, like they're my thing to go to. But I love getting jeans that are unusual, whether the design is unusual or whatever, but I love these because of the big zippers on it. Now, it says it's at my size, but who knows? <laughs> I can hopefully, fingers crossed, but they do sell well. This is a brand called Princess Highway, and I looked it up and they do sell okay. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, they fit me. I don't know, I think they might be girls, they're pretty short. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, for a dollar, I don't care. Then I got, what else did I get? I don't even know what I got here. I don't even know if it's any good guys, you can tell me, but I thought it'd be good for the old boy. Um, it's a Black Town Mitre brand, Mitre brand, XXL, Black Town Devils, Black Town City Devil, City Teamans jacket. There's nothing wrong with it at all nothing wrong with it at all so yeah dollar and I got a free little netted bag okay I should show you some books now I might do you some books first okay now okay exciting news on my behalf too I decided my my shop on eBay is called the eclectic right the eclectic so I, I buy all sorts of things but I was feeling like oh my god I'm putting all these books and stuff on there and I love books. You guys know I love books and I said I wasn't going to buy books, but I'm going to always buy books. I've always bought books, I've always resold books, I've always kept books. Anyway, last night, the other day I decided I'm going to start a new eBay page and then last night I thought, you know what, I'm going to just change the name of that shop altogether. It's going to be a new shop and I've called it the, I've got to remember now, the Book Nerds Collective. On it I'll be selling books, lots of books. I'll be selling jigsaw puzzles, I'll be selling CDs, DVDs, VHS and board games. Okay, so I've already got it started, I've already added 10 listings up to it and I'm hoping that it will grow and I'll keep them two separate and I'll probably end up doing that one as a shop as well. So if any of the stuff, that, any of the books that you see here that you want, let me know. And my husband goes, oh you're going to really, he's, he, he loved the fact that I was having a ball today, I was on my own which is a bonus because it doesn't always happen, I've usually got whinging people with me. Um, but um, he said, you're going gonna to have to get a house soon for all your stuff in. I'm like, no, I can still make space. I went and bought some boxes today to put some books in. So, in the bookshop, in the book section, I'm sorry, I did go in. The very first thing I did see in the book section was a sign that says, books, 50 cents, paperback, $1. I didn't even look at the magazines, the magazines are only 20 cents, and one dollar for hardcover, okay? So I saw that, and now I'm trying to find the books I want to show you. So the very first books I saw were Mills and Boons. After the last time um, unlucky mess up that I made, I'm going to give the Mills and Boons a go again, okay? They were 50 cents each, so I wasn't really going to, wasn't, I nearly wasn't going to get them after I found all the other books, I thought, you know what, I'm going to get them. It's going to fill up my bookstore really well. So I got a heap of these. I've got that many books here. I can't even, sorry, I'm going blurry. I can't even show you how many books I've got, but I've got dozens and dozens and dozens of books. Now, the only thing is, they were 50 cents each, was great. So I, I spent about 60 something dollars on books, right? Oh, yeah, around 60 something, 65. On a Thursday, if you're in Grafton on a Thursday, their books are pack a bag for $5. So you can get a big bag. So I probably could have got all these books for like 5, 10, 15, 20 dollars, 30 dollars, 25. If I was here Thursday, but I'm not going to be here Thursday, but for me, 50 cent books that I'm reselling, you know. 
she did ask me what I was doing. I said, oh, I've got lots of people in my family, you know, who like different types of books, which is true. <laughs> I didn't just tell her everything. I just said that to her. Um, she goes, oh, that makes sense. And I went, yep. Makes more sense if I told you the truth, but <laughs> exact truth, but that's what I said. And I do. I have lots of family members who like to read different types of books. Sadly, not my children, but other people. So I, I'm still adding all my mills and boons together. I'm getting more. And there's, there's more, like this more and I don't even know how many mills and boons I got well that's, there's some more there's older ones there as well which probably sell well so I got look honestly guys there's mills and boons coming out my ears there so I think that might be about it or a couple more okay that's my mills and boons books 50 cents each right that's one lot okay so I was so excited because I'm like oh books this is and all of a sudden my eyes lit upon I don't even know which they lit upon first but they lit upon something first but I think it might have been these ones they lit upon. No, it was, it was an old book first. I found a vintage book, which I'll talk about in a minute. <sighs> Look what I found. Look what I found. Look at them all. Like, they were st like I've got more. There's more. There's even more. <laughs> like, I've got them everywhere. There's more. I've got, I think there's two, two sets of series of the, of the Ranger's Apprentice. I was so excited about that. But oh yeah, so I've got a heap of those. Like I'll I'll have to count them up and I'll pop them in the um. I'll edit, when I'm editing, I'll pop them how many I've got. You'll see now because I'm already have edited. So yes, you'll see what I've got in how many of them I've got. Okay, then I saw other books, but then I saw. Do you know the guy who? And I think I have that book here. Who wrote um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Do you know him? I didn't know him either. I just know the movie. Douglas Adams books look at them all look at them look I got them and I'm pretty sure I've got um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and this other set but look at all that guys look at all them 50 cents each <laughs> I was in my element today Mel you would if Mel if you're watching this you would have loved it Bronwyn you would have loved it too <laughs> I couldn't believe it Bronwyn would have loved it because of all the clothes and books but Mel would have loved it all the books there so you guys might apply to Grafton so you can um yeah on a Thursday get some books okay I've still got, I'm still trying to sort all this out because I've got books everywhere. I've got this too, I don't even know I picked up, but they're a good kids series. There's two of them in the packet. It's only a young fella that wrote the book too. Looks like he's only about 20 something. Yeah, so I've got those two. And they're all like new, like there's no marks or anything. I like there's a couple of little, you know, light marks on the side there, but the books themselves are in such great condition, like it's crazy. I've got one book for me out of all that. One book for me because it's about um, vintage stuff vintage sewing clothes and stuff like that okay I don't even know where to go I think this is this was two of the books that I found early on I think this is after the Mills and Burns I found these ones so Gears of War which is part of the game video game thingy so they should go good are you sick of the books yet I'm not I've got all these you you would have seen these in the video because I went oh you probably saw the Rangers ones too but look Dean Koontz. I do not worry these types of books at all. But I've got the books. Let me tell you even more down here. Seriously, if you could see how many books I've got. God. <laughs> We've got books everywhere. Um, I should have been more sorted, but I was just too excited. I wanted to get this done. Look, I found another Mills and Boons over here as well. Okay, and I'm pretty sure there's more of these, and I'll let you know in a minute, but I'm pretty sure there was more of those. Dean Koontz books. Terry Brooks books, <laughs> got a heap of those as well. Look at them all. I'm just so wrapped that I've got, like, I'm doing a mail at the moment. I'm getting all these bundles of books to resell. Like, this, it just doesn't happen to me. Remember the last time that I was this excited, I think, was when I got all those DVDs cheap and I'm still selling them. I made over probably $500, $400 or something by now out of those. And I've still got heaps to go. So, um, this is another set. This is just one of the first ones I picked up. So, I don't know how much you charge for that, but probably 50 cents I suppose it's all together so it's already it's all sealed still it looks like a, um, a war sort of movie type books sort of thing okay so that was that um, I think I'm getting there Mills and Boons again and I've got a Stephen King sadly there was no hard covers there but this is the first edition of that one so I didn't get that so it must have written it together I don't know anyway I got that that was 50 cents Oh, there's another Terry Books books here. 
I'm sitting on a little stool, guys. That's why I'm sort of bending over, picking up stuff off the ground. Another Terry Brooks one. Um, another Terry Brooks one. Oh, and this is one I wanted to show. Sorry. Woo! Come back. Ah, camera. Okay, this is a book I wanted to share with you. It's a really, it's an old one. I actually was looking at it, but I couldn't find the date in it. But it is an older book. Okay. And why I grabbed it, it was one of the first ones I grabbed actually after the Mills and Boons ones because it's got a chapter in here about Peter Rabbit. So it's by Dorothy Russell. I haven't investigated it. Was she the one that wrote Peter? I don't know. Peter Rabbit was written by someone else. I don't know. But anyway, it's a really old book and it's got Peter Rabbit here and Peter Rabbit's bad news. So Peter Rabbit makes an appearance. So I figured I'm going to research later, but it must be 19, like early 19, 1900s. 1930s maybe I don't know but I had to have that to go into my vintage section of my my vintage channel so I thought that was really good so I'm gonna have a look at investigate that later I will put it up here you'll see it information about it shortly okay still going should we go back and do some more clothes I think do some more clothes because I've got lots of books still to go all right are you still with me I hope you're still with me and while I'm here I just want to say thank you to everyone who's subscribed because I've got a few new subscribers lately I was feeling a bit deflated I'm like what am I doing I can't get anyone but you know what I was still going to keep going anyway whether anyone watched or not but people more people are watching and I've been getting such um, nice comments by some of the resellers that are, I watch all the time and I want to thank them for that and I always forget to introduce myself so I'm going to do it now if you're still here, you'll know. Okay, so I'm Nelly Acker, the flipping boomer. I live in a bus with my husband, four grandkids, cat, two, two dogs, a cat, and a bird. Okay, there was six grandkids at one time. The two older ones are grown up. I have raised them. We have raised them. So we're semi-permanently living in the bus until it's such time we can find something to move into. But my bus is cosy, and yes, there will be a viewing of my bus eventually in the future. I'll put in the description later the Facebook page I had when we were traveling around Australia so if you want to go and stick your beak there you can. There's probably a video there of the inside of the bus when it was tidy. I just haven't got in there to tidy it properly. Like when I say tidy I mean I've got to gut the whole. Yeah I've got to clean it properly. We've got two Labradors that drive me insane with their dog here. So here we're going. We're going into the um, into clothing. Now I've got these for hubby because he's a little bit of weight and uh, yeah they're only a dollar so he got some shorts now I got some stuff in here that I I got because I'm weird but because they were cheap and I thought well what, what I want to do this is a men's jacket it only cost me a dollar okay and I really really want to get into printing eventually and my plan is to find some old, like the old really nice suit jackets and um, old uh, flannelette jackets, shirts and other shirts. I want to put a printer on the back of it, you know, really funky stuff. That's why I got that. So that if I mess up on that, it's not going to matter because it only cost me a dollar. That's my thing. I love crafting. I love creating. I just don't have time to do it and I've got all these ideas happening. But yeah, that's where I am at the moment. Now, this shirt I was in the ladies section and I'm not even sure if that ribbon's supposed to be attached. I think it is. This is a 2013 PGA Championship. Is that the, what's that PGA? I don't know. Anyway, one of the sports is it's tennis? Something like that. <laughs> I'm shocking. Uh, anyway, I got that for a dollar because I don't know what it's for, but I thought it might be worth something. Then I got this really nice cotton on blazer, Chino Chino blazer for a dollar. So it's cotton on. Which is nothing super special but the fact that it's a really nice jacket and it's coming on to winter was worth getting i got this nice um wet weather gear liz jordan liz jordan jacket liz jordan you know who she is and i've got her for it's a couple of little marks and nothing major which i will put in the description but nice jacket like I don't think it's hardly been worn it's beautiful and soft really soft like a brush cotton so no money in the pockets I've got another Liz Jordan here as well this is a brand new Liz Jordan so they were only a dollar each oh this one I'm gonna have to chuck out I didn't realize it's got stains on it what a shame oh, what would have been beautiful I just saw the stains and this is trouble you've really got to check out everything when you're in the shops 
don't think that will come out. I think that's actually yellowing stains, but yeah. Oh well, such is life. I've lost a dollar. I donated a dollar. Okay. What else? I've got a beautiful linen, pure linen. Sadly, someone's taken the tag off, and I really, as I've said in one of my other videos, I hate tags being taken off. I will suffer a tag rather than taking it off. But someone's taken the tag off. It's not my style. It's very conservative. I'm not conservative at all, but it's linen. So someone will love that because of the fact that it is all pure linen. It's a Yarra Trail. So that's a pretty good brand. Yarra Trail. Um, top. Blouse for a dollar. Probably running out of... I swear I had lots more clothing than that. Okay, I've got this really nice Ganton. I don't know about Ganton, but it's going to give it to my hubby, I think. What is it? 3XL is probably too big for him. I just spotted a spot on it, so I'll see if I can wash it off first. Anyway, that's the shirt. It's a 3XL, so they sell really well. So I'm going to give that one a yeah, give that one a wash. If it doesn't if it doesn't wash, I've got friends that probably will give them to their husband. Okay, now I got his two more suits, suit jackets. This one cost me two dollars fifty. Now I liked it because it's called Sting. It didn't have any pumps on it, but I love this patched purposely patched um, elbows so I thought that was pretty funky and I'll see if that goes a nice winter jacket for somebody now these two things were a bit of a should I get them or should I not get them but I got them anyway because they cost me two dollars fifty each but they're two men's still in plastic suits Novotel Peter Morrissey suits so I'd say they were probably for a wedding they've still got the tag, brand new tags on it as well so I've got two of those for $2.50 each both in the same size I think if I remember rightly I think they're large size so yeah it's still got the little little pocket thingy pocket chief pocket chief pocket chief or something whatever it's called so yeah I've got two of those so I think that's my clothes done in that shop I think yes it is in that shop that's done so we're going back to the books now guys are you still there <laughs> I wish you could tell me you're still there okay let's go back to the books so here's another bag of books Mills and Boone uh, the long tea of that the guy who did the yeah Douglas Adams another one of his there another Mills and Boone's okay I should put them all in different boxes all of my books so they're all mixed up okay these are the kids ones which I'll show you in a minute I, got, I ended up getting a few odd ones. I've got um, Paddle Saddle Club. That one's for you, Nicole. <laughs> um, Paul Jennings. I've got three more Paul Jennings books, which I'll probably add to the pile now. So, yeah. So, around the twist, even. I've not even got around the twist. Old, old uh, TV series, if you younger people don't know what it is. Old Australian TV series, if you're over in the USA. That is from 1990. That's a, so, it's 31. My, my second, my third child my first son is 31 coming up 31 so that's how old that book is and i've got this one here which i got as well why did i get it i don't know because it is called uh, arthur spider spiderwick spiderwick book it's got all these little awesome photos in it you know spiderwick no i know in storage i've got the three books that go with that so this one may go away until i get my stuff out of storage most like Okay, we're going on to now. This, uh, they, were, they had two sets of these books, but one set wasn't fully there, so I only got this set. Now, this is a kid's set. Oh, there's another settle, settle club for you, Nicole. Um, these books are called The Stallion, Phantom Stallion, and the whole series is here of this particular book. Oh, hang on, I've got two extras in there. The whole series is there of this book, these, these books. They had two lots of this. These were $12.95 each, look, when they were bought. 12.35, holy crap. Okay, so I've got these. Now, I think it's one to 10. I think that's what I got, something like that. Now, the other set had one to one to something else, but 10 and 12 and all these other ones were missing in the series, so I didn't bother getting it. But um, I was happy with that. For the kids, not my kids, for some kids. Um, I got, my, my sister loved Trixie Bell. I got that one in the memory of her. She'll, she'll see this, she's not dead. <laughs> she'll see that. In memory of the fact that she loved Trixie Belden as a kid. Um, Fern Gully, you all remember Fern Gully. I only got that because of the 
nostalgic reasons of it because that was another good Australian movie back in the day, 91 that came out. My second daughter, I don't know the first one watched it as much, but my second daughter used to love Fern Gully. Fern Gully. Okay, we're down to two box bags of books left. And I hope you're still here. Let's break it up a bit, shall we? Let's break it up with some. I've decided recently that I was going to start buying cassette tapes. Now, the reason why I'm buying cassette tapes is because apparently, that's what I read, I read, I heard, I saw, a lot of people that have got the classic cars, like I'm going to be getting one day, have got the old tape deck things in it, and they want the old cassettes for that. So I've got some good ones. Now, there are $2 each, but one was a dollar, okay? I've got the animals. I've got Simon and Garfunkel. I've got good taste, haven't I? I got Don McLean, American Pie. I got Janice Joplin. And I got Sting. So that's the first of my collection. My husband's got all these 70s stuff packed away. That's so why I'm not going to sell them. They're nostalgic. Okay. Oh, look, it's one of those other books. That's two books I showed you already. There's a third one in that series. How cool is that? I didn't even remember picking those up, but I'm glad I did. Right, let's see what we've got in here. This is exciting for me. Another set of kids' horse books. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Kathleen Dewey. Um, another Phantom Stallion, which goes over there. And here we are. Last lot of books coming up now. Are you bored yet? I hope not, because I'm really having fun. Rangers Apprentice. Another Douglas Adams one. I'll write down how many of each books I've got when I do my editing. Oh, I've got some VHS. Look what i got, guys. Da, 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 da. I don't know whether I paid a dollar or two dollars. So I've got, I should have, yeah, because they're two dollars each on there and they've got a dollar next to it, so I probably paid two. But yeah, I've got Wake Up Jeff, uh, Wiggle Dance, and that one, Live in Concept. So. I'm so I'm just so buzzed. I, I think this is the thing when we op shop and we find good stuff, it makes us want to go. Oh, I've been op shopping in that for, for many many years. Like I remember as a kid going to Fates and stuff, and my mother digging through clothing. And me, I can still remember one of the tops of the blouses I had back in the '70s that she got from one. I can remember clearly her picking it up and giving it to me. Like I wore it for a long time. Um, if I, yeah, I just wish I had been more of a collector back then when I was younger because the stuff we found back then even the 80s was just mind-blowing you know I've had some amazing dresses vintage dresses and I've sold off in the, in the past I wish I kept okay let's go here we are that one so that's the um, Donald Adams the Donald Adams yeah Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy now you guys cannot tell me I'm not gonna make any money out of these this one's got pictures and everything in it it's a little bit a little bit of foxing happening you know what foxing all that yellowing stuff happening that's okay it's got a um, Someone's put pen in the cover. Oh, here's another one of those books. There's four in the set now. Man, this is so cool. These are the sort of books I would have read as a kid. Okay, oh, another one. So it's five in the set. <laughs> Honestly, did not remember picking these up, but I obviously thought they must have been good, so I picked them up anyway. All right, oh, here we are, last bag, people. And what I see is a little bit of damage on this one, but that's okay. Ranger's Apprentice. So that goes there. Oh more of this another series of rangers apprentices oh no this is yeah yeah brother brother band so a whole heap of those the same author as rangers apprentice rangers apprentice oh this is a different author hang on let me have a look oh no same author so someone's had these sitting somewhere so um most of them are really good condition a couple of them have got a little bit of yellowing on them that one's got yellowing else and hasn't um this is a different book. Oh, okay. This one's called this one. I don't know if I'm picking that one up either. So maybe I picked it up because there's a series of that as well. Who knows? But the rest of these books are all all the uh, Ranger's Apprentice, Bella. All those. Let's have a look. Oh, here's another one of those Land of, Sto Land of Stories. That's six in total. How freaking cool is that? Six of those. And more Ranger's Apprentice. So I think I've got some of the first season series is this cover and then I've got this different series as well let's have a look what's this one belong to that one that's what they belong to so that's good I've got the series in that series in that another one of those and ooh, another Douglas Adams one 
So that's all that. What do you reckon, guys? Can you leave in the comments what you think? I got my sister some beads. She ordered some beads. She loved it there when she was here a few weeks ago. She lives way out west, so she can't come to get them. Okay. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> so after that, I said, I'm not going to any more op shops. Do you remember me saying that? If I haven't edited it out, I, will, I did say that. But then I went to another op shop. I went to two. One, yeah, you don't have to worry. I've got extra stuff for me. This one I went to. I went to Salvo's and Grafton's pretty good. Some of the things are a bit overpriced, but some things are good. I, I, I adopted, I adopted Auntie Barbara. She was only a dollar. And you guys know I like old photos that have no homes. So yeah, Auntie Barbara now belongs to me. Okay. And I also got another book there because I'm just freaking hopeless, but it was a really good book. Look at it. It's got really awesome photo pictures inside it. Like, I might even read it myself. See the pictures? So, it was $2, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to get it anyway because the comps look good on it. Then I got two of these little pill, pill tin pot things. There's another one in here somewhere. He packed it for me. There it is, another little one. And, yeah, just they're really cute. They're really good for doing... Uh, when I'm doing my vintage selling stuff, I can put my jewellery with it just to make it look pretty. So I've got those. <laughs> Nearly finished, I promise. Um, then I, I, I'm not into this sort of stuff generally, but I like them. And I, they paid for it more than I usually do, but I thought they were pretty funky. And they're bronze. Brass? Bronze? Copper? <laughs> Brass? You know that stuff? Yeah, that stuff. Bronze. I don't know, I don't know, I get them mixed up. Brass. One of those. Okay, my husband will know. They're five dollars each. I don't usually buy that sort of stuff, but, but they're so funky. Look at that. Like how cool would he be hanging with some jewellery hanging on him or something for when I do photos? But I got them. Okay. And I think when I see this sort of stuff, it reminds me of the girl I watch in America. Her name's Laura. I can't remember her last name, but she's she's got the most beautiful, amazing I'll, I'll try and remember to put it in the description. Um, she finds amazing stuff over there. She's right into the retro 70s sort of gear. So I'll try and remember to put her down because she is so good to watch. So, so good to watch. Anyway, the last thing I got there, right? They had these, um, you know I don't like buying unsealed DVDs, but I did. They had Xena. They had Xena for five bucks. And they had two Xenas for five bucks. They had season one and season two, right? So I thought, yeah, okay. Then the fellow goes to me, oh, why aren't you getting the rest of them? I said, well, I can't work out why. The rest of them are all $8. He says, oh, says, this, yeah, that's a bit odd. Never mind. Take them all for 25 <laughs> So I did. <laughs> so I took them all for 25 and the comps were pretty good on those. So, you know, I'm going to give it a go and hopefully sell all my Xenas. It was a good, good show back in the day, back in the 90s, I think. And I think, guys... Ta-da! <laughs> Finished. Oh my goodness. That was a marathon day. It was a marathon video. I hope you got to the end of this. If you did, let me know. Please let me know. Once again, I just want to thank you all for subscribing who, have got, who are already subscribing. If you haven't already, please. Better things are coming. The videos are going to get better, I promise. I've slowly increased my ability to edit. <laughs> it's still a work in progress. Um, but, and I did stuff up my last two and I had to redo them after they were already loaded so I lost a lot of comments and viewers and stuff and I lost a couple of subscribers and I wish someone, one of my friends, thank you Nicole, told me that one of them was mucking up so I did fix it as soon as I realised. I think sometimes I get so, I'm so much in a hurry to get things done I rush it too quickly so what I'm going to do is edit, go through it again, edit, go through it one more time, load it, check it to make sure it's worked then I'll put it on YouTube. So hopefully this will be done in the next, well it's Monday today, hopefully Tuesday, tomorrow, maybe Wednesday. Wednesday's my what's sold. So probably tomorrow or later tonight, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I'm gonna go now, I've got to mess clean up this whole big, huge, gigantic mess that I have on the ground right here. See it? That's what I've got to clean up. And I've bought two plastic, I bought some plastic boxes um, just before now yeah, I'm lopsided so I'm gonna go <laughs> see you next time guys I'm going to try really hard oh.
And just as I was saying, I was going to say goodbye. I'm going to say <laughs> I found one more shirt that I don't know what it is. It's, all I know is it's made in Italy and it's a sports shirt. I'm hoping one of you knowledgeable sports people know. It was only a dollar. That's why I picked it up. And if it's no good for anybody, I'll give it to the grandson. But yeah, it's it's got buff, buff on at the back. I thought it said buff on. Buff on. Buff on. Um, licensed Italy polyester. Um, yeah, I know nothing about it. So it might not be worth anything. It might be worth something. Someone can let me know. So now I'm going to sign off. That was a big day. I hope you enjoyed every moment of it. I hope you stuck with it. I hope you didn't run away because it's too boring for you. <laughs> There'll be more coming soon. I'll probably hit maybe. I, I'm, I've got to try and say to myself, no, you're not going to touch any more op shops until you have all this listed. That's what I'm saying. It's not going to happen. You guys know. You guys know what it's like when you're an op shop freak that you cannot avoid going to op shop. There's an op shop nearby. I'm going to try not to go op shopping. I'm not going to say I'm not going to. I'm going to see you next time. In the meantime, you know what I'm going to say. Happy hunting. See you then. Bye.